Did you ever wonder why Wednesday is called Wednesday or Friday is called Friday? Where in the world did these names even come from? While there are many nuances to help answer this question, we'll stick to the basics. The answer to all of this is it's a mix of Roman gods, the Anglo-Saxon adaptations, and astronomical objects. Ancient people knew of several celestial bodies. The sun would be the obvious one. It's really hard to miss it every single morning at sunrise. The moon is another clear-cut one, also hard to miss when there's a full moon. But besides these two, ancient people were also aware of five other planets, which look like bright stars in our sky. These five planets, named for Roman deities, are Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. Happily for us, Sunday and Monday are days that are easy to understand in terms of their nomenclature. In Latin, Dies Solis is the Saxons' Sun's Day or Sunendag, which is our Sunday. Dies Lunae in Latin is named for the moon. The Anglo-Saxon equivalent for the moon is Mona, so we get Monendag or Moon's Day, our Monday. Both the sun and moon had deities of similar names associated with them in Germanic mythology. Tuesday's ruling planet is Mars, the Roman god of war. The Anglo-Saxon equivalent of this was the god Tu, the god of war and justice. The Latin Dies Martis for Mars's day became Tuesday for Tu. With time, Tuesday became Tuesday. Wednesday's ruling planet is Mercury. Mercury was the Roman god of commerce. The Latin Dies Mercuri became Wednesday, or for Woden's Day, our Wednesday. It is unclear what Woden's godly realm was truly all about and how it related to Mercury. Speculations are rife as to their true connection. Thursday, Dies Jovis, has Jupiter as its planet. Jupiter, or Jove, was the Roman god of sky and thunder. He was the king of the gods. He's like the Roman equivalent of the Greek god Zeus. Anyways, thunder was another aspect associated with Thunre, Thunner, or Thunor, which are alternate names for the Germanic sky god, god of thunder. A god you probably know better as Thor. From that, we get Thunrisdag, or Thor's Day, which became Thursday. The day after that, Friday, or Dies Veneris, is tacked to the planet Venus. Venus was the Roman goddess of love and fertility. Frigdag, or Friga's Day, refers to Frigg, the goddess of fertility and wife of Woden. Finally, we come to Dies Saturni, Day of Saturn, or Saturday, which is associated with the planet Saturn. Saturn was the Roman god of agriculture, among other things. Unlike the other days of the week, the Roman name was not replaced. Therefore, Saturday is the only day of the week that retains its true Roman origins. Now you know where the names of our days came from. In Latin, Dies Solis is the Saxons' Sun's Day, or Sunendag, which is our Sunday. Dies Lunae became Monendag, or Moon's Day, our Monday. Dies Martis turned into Tuesday, or Tuesday. Dies Mercuri became Wodnesdag, or what we call now Wednesday. Dies Jovis transformed into Thunrisdag, or Thursday. Dies Veneris morphed into Frigidag, or Friga's Day, our Friday. Finally, Dies Saturni, Day of Saturn, or Saturday, remained essentially the same.